Make-A-Wish Alabama helps bring dreams to life for children across the state, but it can take thousands of dollars to just make even one wish come true. Yeah, but that wish can change a life, and News 19 needs your help granting as many as we can through our Wake Up for Wishes telethon, which is coming Thursday, June 22nd. News 19's Lauren Layton spending the weeks leading up to that day, getting to know some of the kids who are waiting for their wishes to be granted today. She wants to introduce us to Noah. Lauren, tell us about it. So Noah is hilarious. He's got a mind of his own and the most infectious laugh I think I've ever heard. Just wait, I think you'll agree with me. He's one of about 300 children in Alabama who's waiting for his wish to be granted. I spent an afternoon with him while he showed me all of his toys and played with his new puppy. He also told me about his cut that doctors gave him, which saved his life. <laughs> Five-year-old Noah Sheehan loves playing with his pup, Vader. Got you. Named after the villain in one of his favorite series. And together, we can rule the galaxy. Noah has plenty of toys. Watch the end. From Boba Fett to BB-8. <laughs> Many are from a galaxy far, far away. I got Luke Skywalker. But one toy grounds him right here in Athens. Look at this. A purple plushie shaped like a kidney. My kidney. Noah is almost two years out from a kidney transplant at Children's Hospital in Birmingham. Well, they had to cut him basically down the yeah. middle. <laughs> it's one of about 10 surgeries he's endured since its kidney disease diagnosis shortly after birth. They found he only had one kidney and uh, they, uh, they found out that that one was damaged from a blockage until he got his transplant. He was doing uh, peritoneal dialysis. No one will have to go back to children's every three months for years to come. But his parents say he's a force to be reckoned with. When he got that transplant, it was like having a you new know, person. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was like he, his whole life changed. He likes to show off his scar to people. He so. does. Make a Wish is working to send him, Mom Katie, Dad Bobby, and little brother Henry to Disney World to see all of his favorites. And he lo really loved Olaf. <laughs> it kind of seems like it's a new chapter, you know, of our lives to celebrate, you know, it's going to be special. And as cool as meeting all the characters will be, Noah's most excited to officially become a Jedi. Well, I'm really excited to see him build that lightsaber. Oh, that's all he <laughs> talks about. Yeah. In Athens, your Lauren Layton, <laughs> News 19. Again, the Wake Up for Wishes telethon is June 22nd, and it's happening all morning long on News 19. Tune in to meet some of the kids waiting on a wish and some of the folks with Make-A-Wish working to make it happen. If you can't wait until June to help out, just scan the QR code on your screen right now. Or you can text WISHES, that's W-I-S-H-E-S, -E to 243-725. Every dollar raised stays right here in Alabama, helping kids just like Noah.